Well, we are actually about to do something we haven't done in a long time. What are we doing, guys? We're going on a cruise. Oh what are we doing? Cruising. Cruising. <laughs> we are going cruising. cruising. All right. Well, we're about to head out. We're going to stay in Savannah the first night. Yes, we are. We're going to have some guacamole. Guacamole. Yes, we're going to eat some Mexican food and hang out. And then we'll go to Orlando the next night. And then after that, we're going to uh, head over to the ship. So we'll update you as we go. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> so we are in Savannah eating at Tequila Town. Actually, it's just like already ate at Tequila Town and it was good. How was your food? It was yummy. How was your food? Good. <laughs> How was your food? Marvelous. How was your food? Oh. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> so good he couldn't stop eating to talk about it. Alright, we'll check in later. See you soon. Okay, it has been a definite process, but we are finally about to board a cruise ship again. It has been a pain. No, it's not been too bad. You, typical stuff. Um, so we're heading on right now. About to view the first steps. Can't wait. Final pass. See, we're almost there. Getting close. The rest of them are coming behind us. They're coming. Here they come. They're coming. Hi. We're almost here. We're okay. Naomi's about to step on. She's gonna be the first one. See you on the other side. We're on. We're on. Thank you. Thank you. O M G. This fish bowl is good. They're all drunk, and I'm sober. Yes, I am. <laughs> This is awesome. We have a balcony this time. What do you think about the balcony, honey? I love it. It's so cool. I mean, of course, right now all we see is this, but eventually, imagine, just imagine, it's going to be blue ocean, not gray asphalt. Pretty cool watching them like paint the ship and stuff, though. There's a dude up there. I think he's painting or something. I don't know. All right, well, we should be sailing away pretty soon. See you later. Time to get some Mongolian walk. Hopefully it is delicious. Hopefully this is good this time. Mongolian? Mongolian walk. We're about to eat some Mongolian walk. Look at it. Looks yummy. Yummy. Looks yummy. All right, we'll see how it is. Well, we are sailing away here from Port Canaveral. What are you thinking, honey? Woohoo! Having a blast. Oh, yeah.
Breathtaking. Just love how calm and smooth. to kick back just for a minute and uh, you know take a deep breath and enjoy the, the sea and the calm winds and all that we ate uh what we red frog pub with the coconut okay. shrimp that was so good. your fave yes i got it yep and then we had my million walk earlier which we showed you um but then doing some shops now just sort of chillaxing a little bit you enjoyed the cruise so far? Oh, yes. I am very much so. Yeah, me too. All right. We'll talk in with you later. See ya. When you've not been on a cruise in like three years, you sort of forget how to operate your GoPro. And I'm pretty dang sure that unless I can do some sort of little flippy move on the computer, everything i filmed so far has been sideways. Oops. Yeah, uh, about that. So, um, we might start fresh tomorrow. So if this whole like first sea day is missing, you'll know why. It's because I messed up. Oops, again. <laughs> Oops is right. Oops, you did it again. Oops, I did it again, as Brittany would say. <laughs> oh, oh well. You know what? I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. And you know, Maybe you just want to see a sideways video. If that's the case, I might have to just make a sideways video. Probably not. But, you know. Bye. Bye. Hit <laughs> that delicious grilled cheese and fries. That's a yummy looking hot dog. She got a hot dog. She got a ham and cheese. Grilled ham and cheese. Hey, it's the end of the first day, our embarkation day, and boy has it been a, a eventful day, but it's been a good one. What do you think? I'm yawning. Yeah. Tired. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. It's about, what, 145? Yeah, went on, went on 2 o'clock in the morning yeah. on, on embarkation day. We um, started this adventure at 7 a.m. Yeah, we did, out yeah. of Orlando. Yep. Yep. Hey, at Waffle House. Um, then where do we go? To the. We'll walk, well, we ate at Waffle House. We drove straight from Waffle House to Port Canaveral. Then we waited to board our shuttle, which took a while. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with that. Um, we we used Park Port Canaveral. Um, really, I mean, really nice people, and but they seemed like they were a little bit behind. I don't know if they were having trouble getting people off the ship first before they started taking people on but they were nice and moved us to an indoor waiting area which was pretty cool. Do you like that area? Yeah. yeah. While we're on here let's talk about the uh, testing process and uh, and things like Verifly and stuff like that. Like uh, I felt like the stress that led up to te the testing actually wasn't too bad. It was a lot better than I thought it would be than you. I have to agree. Yeah, I mean, of course, you always worry that you know you're going to test positive or something like that. But like, the process itself was very smooth. Um, the people that are on the other end of the phone, you know, certifying it, or they seem to be really helpful and really patient. So, good, yeah, good. I completely agree. Now the real thing that I want to talk about, the Verifly, that thing was ridiculously easier for us. Um, once we got everything loaded in there, it was like, at the port, it was like no process whatsoever to get on board. Like we didn't have to show them any documents or anything. 
Easy peasy. Yeah. So if you've not done Verifly, I highly recommend doing Verifly when you cruise. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's going to speed the process up for you. So, um, and you, I'd still take the paperwork just in case, but they never asked us one time for any of our paperwork. So it was a very quick process. And then I guess one other thing, the muster drill. If Carnival ever goes back to the other way the muster drill was, I am going to be highly ticked off because the new muster is amazing. Tell them about the muster. You literally go in there, you sit down, you watch a lady put her life jacket on, she takes it back off, and you're done. That's it. That's literally it. I, I, like, I know I've seen videos where they say it takes like less than two minutes, and I thought, oh, they're just over exaggerating. No, it literally takes less than two minutes. I, I no longer set my rear end down in the chair that I was popping it back up and we were done. So, yeah. Well, overall, a good first day. We've had its ups and downs, um, but I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow being a sea day. We're going to go hit what? To something else. When you're boarding, just know to have patience. But once you get off, I'll get done with all that, it's going to be smooth sailing. It, you, you really do need to pack your patience and know that, you know, just be grateful that you're cruising again because how many years now have many people just not been able to cruise because of all the restrictions and the virus and shutdowns and all that. So she's right. Just you got to pack your patience and know the fun's awaiting. You, you just got to wait to get there. Exactly. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up, but I think tomorrow we're going to, like I said, we're going to have a sea day, so we'll do some, you know, sea day brunch for sure. Um, may order room service for like an early breakfast, we'll see. Um, and then, I don't know, we're going to see what the day holds. Stay tuned. Yep. All right, we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.